All right, so we now have Unity, Unity Hub, as well as Visual Studio installed. So let's take a quick tour of what Unity Hub is. Now you're gonna see my initials in the corner here. That's because I'm signed in with my account. You should be as well, but if you haven't been asked to log in yet and this show is not signed in, just click this icon and then you're gonna get a sign in option. And this is where you can sign out if you ever want to. Okay, so let's go through this one by one here. First thing, I'm gonna show you the preferences setting. So if you click preferences, this is gonna set a default folder or drive of where your projects are gonna be stored. You can set this to be anywhere you want on any drive. If you go to installs, you can set your default install location as well as where to download things. Appearance, you can change between light and dark mode. So by default, it might be on light mode. You can set it to dark here. And then these are just basic options. So if you want it to hide to the, the system tray whenever you're not using it, you can add that option here. I'm actually gonna open that. Now, if you go to license, this is gonna have your personal license. This is from when you signed up and created your account here. So if you ever have to add this, or if it doesn't currently show a license here, which depending how you created your account, it may or may not. If it doesn't, just click the add button and just follow the steps. Again, everything here is completely free. You don't have to pay at all. And then if you go to advanced, this just gives us some options for beta products and things like that. So it's usually not too much to worry about there. So let's close out of this. Now on this side here, we have our account information. So if you wanna view your settings or your licenses, anything like that, you can do it here. If you need to send feedback or get help and troubleshooting. Now projects, this is the tab we're gonna use the most. So this is showing, you can see, I already have two previous projects that I was just playing around with. And it shows them, it shows this little error because I actually uninstalled that version of Unity. So if we look at it right now, if I click this icon, it says I'm missing the editor version. So this is something common you may see if you download a project from somewhere else, or say you make a backup of your project on a different drive, and then you bring it onto a different computer and you don't have that version of Unity, Unity Hub is gonna allow you to fix that. So if we look here, it shows this is the name of the project, where it's saved, the last time you modified it, and then it shows what version it's created under for the editor. So if we click this exclamation point icon here, it says the missing version is right here. You used to have to hunt around and go find that all yourself and figure out what version everything was. Now it's all right here. You can just click this install version and you'll actually install that version for your project. And if you wanted to, you could switch it here. You could do this and then it would upgrade to that version. So that's something we can talk about in another video. Um, upgrading a project can cause a lot of problems if it doesn't upgrade correctly. Usually Unity is great with doing that, but upgrading between versions is a, a pretty serious effort that you have to take. You have to make sure everything's gonna upgrade fully. So just something to be aware of. You wanna usually stick with the version you're doing. Okay, let's close out of this. Now, if we wanna open one of these projects, all you have to do is click on it, or you can click the open button up here. Now, this little drop down here, if we click on this, this is gonna let you add a project from any of your hard drives or you can select to open a remote project. That's where you can actually store projects on your Unity account if you have space with them. So if you wanted to add a project, all you have to do is click add project from disk, and then you just select the location of that project. So here's a bunch of projects that I have. You can just click on any of these and it's gonna add it to the list. Okay, and now we see that project in the list here. It shows what version it was, and I would have to install that version. Okay, now if we want to create a new project, this is the button right here. We're going to do that shortly. I'm just going to show you the rest of Unity Hub yet, and then we'll get into that. So next is, there's a Learn tab here. Unity has a wealth of tutorials, courses, tons of resources built right onto their website that you can access for free anytime as well. So by going through here, it's going to show you a lot of tutorials and different little lessons that you can take with them. So this is definitely worth checking out. I would recommend playing through there, maybe try out some of their courses. There's a few different tabs for recommending tutorials. You can see some scripting tutorials here. Lots of great stuff in here. Okay, and then the community tab is gonna show you resources for the community. 
So here's the asset store, a blog, Unity Answers, the forums, lots of places you can check for help and learn to meet people in the community. And then if you're currently in the process of installing or downloading anything, this button right here for downloads will show you what's in process. Okay, so that's the summary for the hub. Let's go back to our projects tab. And in the next video, we're gonna create a new project.